Hi, my name is Evgeny and I'm going to explain to you how the convolutional layer of neural networks operates. First of all, the neural network is a well-known class of algorithms developed for 60 years. There are general neural networks, but today we are discussing the convolutional neural networks that are extremely useful for image recognition. They combine deep learning, neural network and convolutional network concepts. In the convolutional neural network we usually have an input layer, a convolutional layer, a pooling layer and a fully connected layer. Now let's briefly discuss the function of each layer. The input layer represents the image to be processed. The convolutional layer performs the convolution operation over the input data and establishes the major building blocks of convolutional neural network. The pooling layer ensures that we are focused solely on the most relevant features. The fully connected layer arranges detected features into different classes according to the training dataset. A convolutional layer uses filters called convolution kernels to recognize patterns in the image. The kernel convolution operation is the basis of all filtering operations for graphical data. The convolution kernel is represented as a small size, typically 3x3 3 3 or 5x5 5 5 square matrix sliding from one block of the picture to another. Every time we shift the kernel over the image, dot product of the kernel and the corresponding part of the image is calculated. Basically, we multiply each element of the kernel by the corresponding element of the current image block and then we calculate the sum of them. Each kernel detects its own patterns. The outcome of kernel convolution operation is a feature map. To detect higher level patterns we need to use multiple convolutional and pooling layers. The regular neural network is fully connected. So what the kernel convolution does is reduce the size of the input and detect features which are useful for image recognition. In the convolutional layer a neuron is only connected to correspondent input neuron. It's not fully connected. It has the same weights and biases. This algorithm allows us to use fewer interconnections between neurons and to decrease the computation complexity. Using convolutional neural networks results in dropping the error rate significantly as well. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.